Hey guys, I'm here with Monica. Hi, We're gonna talk all things wedding season. So how you're gonna rock your makeup attending these spring and summer weddings. So stay tuned. Yay. I just touched myself in the video. I was like, I know it's nice. <laughs> but you know, we can do like those burners and stuff. So eye cream is a must. Look up for me. So I prep the skin and then I go into the eyes and kind of looking backwards. So when you get to the eyes, you want everything waterproof, obviously, from the base, not just your mascara. You want to do stuff that's on the lid to help the shadow stay on. You don't want anything to crease because there's so much humidity, especially here in Atlanta, but attending a lot of these weddings outdoors, you have to take into consideration what point of the day it is as well. So if it's really harsh lighting in midday, you probably don't want to do a smokier eye or something dark underneath. Mm -hmm. So I always say do like a pop of a lip and keep everything else pretty fresh. Mm -hmm. And because she has lashes and they're the best ever, the extensions. <laughs> I'm gonna really take really awesome. yeah. yeah. So good um, but I am a huge lash queen so I like to do individual lashes on clients um, especially for weddings I find that they're more comfortable a lot of people especially people that are in the weddings maybe they haven't worn lashes before and they want to look glam but also when you're attending you may cry a little bit so you know you don't want your lash to be flapping off in the way <laughs> literally. <laughs> literally you'll have one lash like going like, up oh, this I'm way crooked. <laughs> yeah so I like the individuals because they're super lightweight and if you tear up they're gonna stay but I also love what you have so you can swim you can do anything in those it's also great if you're at a destination wedding because then you guys can go in the water you can do anything you want <laughs> no I just did a video on how I do my brows because mm -hmm. I haven't no one's touched my brows in years. Like, well, yeah, I do them myself. Mm -hmm. I'm very anal with them. I got um, this really cool tweezer from Laura Mercy like almost 20 years ago. <laughs> and I still have it, it still works. Do you always recommend to do the eyes and everything first? And yeah, then? I typically do. Okay. And also with foundation, you don't need to wear it all over the face. So take that into account as well. You're gonna be outside, it's gonna be hot. Um, I like to kind of just start from the center of the face and work my way out and then create a contour and warm it up. Also with darker skin tones, you're always gonna be a little bit more golden in the center of the face and you can have more warmth in the outer edge of the face. That is so good to know. I did not know that. But you can I see always it. Like, it yeah, the other it's pretty way. obvious. But you don't really necessarily need makeup here to here, you know? Then it's just too heavy. Yeah. So you have good skin, work with what you got, and then enhance from there. Very good. That's a great tip, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I also like using these dual fiber brushes, so it just gives you a little bit more like airbrush type look. Not the fingers. It's <laughs> <laughs> a little uneven. <laughs> like wipe it off. Hey, I'm guilty of it too. When I'm running out the door, I just do my makeup and go. Oh my, I need to but, let my time better. I am forever running out of my... I mean, it's every woman. <laughs> so when it comes to bronzer as well, you don't want to do anything that's really shimmery. Mm -hmm. um, that'll actually make you look greasy throughout the day. Yeah. So I do like to kind of contour the skin and use cream products to do that. And then I go in with powder. You also want to think about where the sun hits your face, so you want to put some warmth up there, also just not on your cheeks by itself. This is like super fast. Yeah. Like this is my kind of makeup. Like yeah. you come in, you're boom, 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 and you're done. Okay. Dog. So the skin looks flawless. And then you want to set it with some powder. So I like to create the dimension on the skin with creamier products because I feel like they blend a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Some people need to exfoliate, they have dry patches, things can kind of pick up differently on the skin. Mm -hmm. But this I feel like gives a softer, more natural effect and just gives you that glow. But you look great now, but if we don't set it, you're gonna be a hot shiny mess later. So we don't be hot shiny. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna set that a little bit. What is this? It's Vanessa Myrick, so this is a loose powder as well, but I love her products. And her foundation actually is really amazing as well. It is waterproof. That bad boy, you could spray water on your face and it would just beat up and come off. Really? It's, it's amazing. 
it gives you really good coverage and a little bit goes a long way. Today I just used a NARS mm -hmm. foundation on you, the Radiant Longwear that they came out with. Look this guy. So you still look really natural, nothing's really heavy. Yay. Just the way we like it. <laughs> yeah. So do you think Kim Kardashian um, got a nose job and all of that, or is she just good at contouring? Oh, her contour is like ridiculous. That's what I thought too. I mean, but she's not knowing her. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> all the things. I mean, her whole face looks like gone it's just, now. Yeah. But yeah. she's lost a lot of weight. Yeah, and then that's the thing too, so she's lost a lot of the, you know, that facial fat. Yeah. So, interesting. So with this blush, I like to do something with a little shimmer. So I kind of matted you out all over, but this kind of brings you back to make the skin look really fresh and radiant. I do find that when you use cream blushes, sometimes they can read a little bit more oily as the day goes on as well. Glossier has a really nice one, the Cloud Paint. Those are really cool. Um, but I'm just using a Becca blush right now. So next thing, you're wearing a yellow dress. So yes. what I think is fun about these spring and summer weddings, you can have a lot of fun with color. So we can do bold lip. So your face is just really flawless and natural. You don't want to have to think about a smoky eye that's going to melt <laughs> through the day or touching that up. Mm -hmm. So much easier to throw on a bright lip. So we're going to do an orangey red. Super easy. That's it? Yeah. We're done? Yeah. Yay! We can spray a setting spray as well. Perfect. So that'll help. Actually, you know what? Let's do two more little steps. And what's that? It's a setting spray. Okay. So it keeps everything locked and loaded for the day. Alright, guys. Look at that. There you have it. Erica, you Killed it! She beat my face. It's like 15 minutes. I mean, it's super easy. So exactly. you don't always need to overthink it. Just yes. get out the door and be glam, right? Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys. Yeah. Make sure you check out Erica. I'm gonna let her give you all. Give. I'm gonna have her give you all her thing. Exactly. Thing. You guys can follow me at Erica Bogart Beauty on Instagram. So keep in touch. All right. Till next time, guys. This was this segment of Ask an Expert. Thank you so much, Erica. My face looks amazing. I love it. Oh, and we're about to put on the fabulous dress to show you how fabulous it will look with <laughs> a wedding outfit. So I'm going to be the perfect guest. <laughs> All right. Yay. Oh, follow oddbymonica.com until next time. Yeah. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye. Okay, finishing touches here. You don't want to have too much shine on the face, but you definitely want to accentuate in the body. So I'm going to pop on the collarbones a little bit on the tops of the shoulders, and then I want to buff all this out. So I know you probably see it pretty intense right now. But these are little things that when you take photos, it'll just pop. It completes the look. All ready for my wedding. <laughs> Not my wedding, to attend a wedding. <laughs> Like I said with this, you're doing a waterproof eye, you're doing a pop of the lip, you're doing things that are a little bit less steps. Um, we did contour the face, but it's not too much. It's still a natural contour. Very natural. Like, I like it. And it complements the yellow. And yellow is such a major color this season, so you want to look into makeup that will complement colors. Color. Exactly. <laughs> happy colors. But yeah, look how nice that lip goes with that dress. It's amazing. Okay, so any, any any last tips before we head out in our... Yes, so when you do a wedding throughout the day, obviously you're going to be dancing, kissing, hugging, all the things, you know, things can transfer. So I like to put oil blotting films into your clutch. Also a Q-tip in case your eyes water at all, um, crying tissues, obviously. But these are all really small and intact. You can keep them right in your clutch. Perfect, so very good. Do you, yeah. do you have a touch-up kit that you would recommend or just to create your own? No, I just say create your own. Everybody's a little bit different. Sometimes people already have products that they love or your favorite lip color. Um, but just the biggest thing I would say would be oil blotting film. So it doesn't remove your makeup, but it takes away the oil from the skin. So it keeps everything flawless. Perfect, I love that. Yeah. Yay, touch-up kit. All right, guys, yeah. we're ready. Yay, thanks Erica. You look beautiful. Thank you, I feel beautiful. It's such a happy color, like I love it. I know. Oh, I'm like, oh, I'm like, you're so spring, you're yeah. perfect. Yay. <laughs> Bye guys.